Good morning friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanna to start by thanking Teddy Blake for what is the fanciest handbag that I have ever owned. Teddy Blake creates handbag designs for every style choice with premium Italian leather. All of their bags are dyed and treated to withstand the test of time and maintain a luxurious look. Respecting the label's history, they make sure that each Teddy Blake bag is characterized by high quality construction, attention to detail, imaginative design, shape, and durability. Using the same exquisite materials as all luxury brands, they never compromise on quality. Teddy Blake makes it possible to enjoy designer handbags with all the key characteristics of any high-end luxury bag and removes the $1 to $2,000 price tag. With Teddy Blake, you enjoy luxury at a fair price always. I love having a beautiful bag for those moments. I want to feel a bit more dressed up and put together. If you're interested in Teddy Blake for yourself, please check out the information in the description box below. Now, let's go ahead and get this day started. Good morning, friends. Uh, we are headed out to go on a morning hike. It's not really morning, it's 1030. I mean, it's still morning, but we're going out on a hike with some friends from our homeschool social group. Kids just, we kind of slept in this morning. Daylight savings is still kind of messing with us. Um, kids ate breakfast really quick. We have done no school, so we'll still have school when we get home today. Okay. Um, I might let them skip a few things though, but you guys didn't hear that in case I changed my mind. Yeah. So we're going to go hiking. I will not be bringing my camera out on the trail or anything. So, um, <laughs> after the hike, we're going to have lunch with a few of the families and then come home, do some school, depending on how motivated I feel, I might do some cleaning. Um, I was just telling the kids we need to steam mop downstairs again because they've been playing outside and tracking in like, more. hold on one second, like wet footprints and stuff because it's been a little rainy. Um, but I think I'm going to try and hold off until this coming weekend because Will and I need to move all of our living room furniture to the garage to be picked up by Salvation Army on Monday. Today is Tuesday. Um, so when we move all the furniture out to be picked up Sunday night for a pickup on Monday, does that make sense? We're going to move it into the garage Sunday night because I don't know what time they're coming Monday. So if they come super early, I want to make sure that it's already out of the house. I think at that point then I will clean the whole living room where the couches have been sitting for years like we moved them to like sweep and stuff but I don't know that I've mopped under them as weird as that sounds I think I've done it a few times but it's been a long time <coughs> so I think since we're gonna be moving everything I will go ahead and uh, I want to focus on Alice's zebra thing back there her hoodie um, and do it then but if it annoys me too much I might do it before then and then also do it again anyway we gotta pull out of here so we can get there on time did you have something to say to them or just to me um. Deciding how motivated I am, I might help Mama. Yeah. <clears throat> He's got some allergy issue going on or some drainage with the seasonal changes. Uh, we're going to get going and we'll see you this afternoon. Y'all, we are home. We hiked, from my best calculation, just over three and a half miles. Wait, what? Yeah, and it was muddy in a lot of spots, so like our shoes are covered in mud. Um, so we did the hike and then we sat with some of the friends and the kids ate their lunch or part of their lunch and then we just got home. They're going to finish their lunch and they're going to start school and I just need to drink some water and I'm sore. Like my knees. That was the hikiest hike that I've ever done. But it was fun. I'm glad we got out of the house. The weather was beautiful. Um, it was really nice. So I'm definitely zooming through my school. You're going to zoom through your school? He wants to play video games, so he's gonna try and zoom through school and then hope that I say yes. Will is home from work. Alice is outside playing. Jackson is here. Hypergenic. Hypergenic. Energetic. Energetic. Hyper and energetic. He's hypergenic. <laughs> he's making mm. up new words, huh? Yep. Do you have fun today on the hike? Uh huh. What was your favorite part? Oh, good. I can see my hair now. What was your favorite part? Um, run away from you guys. Running away from, yeah, you got to hang out with the big kids and there are other uh -huh. boys your age to hang out mm -hmm. with, huh? Mm -hmm. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Not just a bunch of girls. There was one who was like 10, 11, and then one of them was Adam? Atticus? Atticus, yes. Yep. And he was nine. Yeah, that fun. I'm glad we got to go. Mm -hmm. I'm sore though. I had to take some Motrin, oh, or some Aleve. Like my bones are just throbbing. I also had to do my Enbrel injection today, so that could be part of why I'm sore is because it was injection day and my bones. Um, like I said, Will just got home. It is four o'clock. This daylight savings thing, the days are going by too quick. I don't know, it feels uh, like it shouldn't be this late. 
I have planned on making for the kids tonight like a like a chicken alfredo sort of dinner. Um, for Will and I, I've got some, what was it, basil and black pepper chicken sausages I got from Costco the last time we were there. So I'm going to cook the rest of those up in the air fryer. And then we'll, that's probably all I'll have is like the chicken sausages. Maybe. I don't know. Um, and then Will usually has like an avocado with his... If you're not aware, we're doing basically the carnivore diet. So he does a few other things that I don't eat. Like he eats avocado and some berries and more dairy than I do. But I haven't done anything since getting home. I'm actually looking for some Easter stuff. The kids' Easter baskets, like non-candy items. So I was perusing uh, Amazon and catching up on some YouTube. But yeah. I'm tired. That hike wore me out. It's now 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. I've been doing things. Will just said, mm-hmm. I was talking to the camera, babe. Mm -hmm. um, I just put on a She's in her apron video. I've been kind of cleaning a little bit, but nothing like worthy of recording. I did a little bit of like organized the games on the side table next to the couch. Jack, can you hit pause on that? Please. Um, I dusted the entertainment center. I put um, an order of school curriculum in a box that needs to go upstairs for next for this upcoming school year so that'll be a whole separate video because yes we do continue or we do plan on continuing to homeschool um, next year as well so I think that's just kind of the journey we're on right now COVID and all that was just the push we needed to begin um, Alice and Jack are in from playing outside they were rolling around Alice is all itchy from ro rolling around. well Alice was itchy from rolling around in the grass, so she is upstairs taking a shower, I believe. You didn't shower? I did. Oh, that was quick. So, did you wash your hair? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yes. That's the quickest shower you've ever taken. I need to go sniff test her. Good morning. It is now Wednesday. I didn't close out yesterday because yesterday. we didn't really do much, like I said, um, in the evening. It's St. Patrick's Day. The kids are looking cute. I still need to shower, but I wanted to get them up and ready for the day. So Alice is wearing her St. Patrick's Day dress. Yes, we see Katie. Can you move Katie so we can see you? So she's wearing her St. Patrick's Day dress that we got her last year. So hey guys, don't pitch Katie. She has green, green on her dress. And on her popsicle, yeah. Um, so I'm going to send the kids outside to play because it's supposed to start raining in a few hours. They're not done with school yet, but they need, they're driving me crazy today. They are cranky, they're argumentative, and they, nah, you've also been. Not, you On your math exam? That's good. So they're both wearing green. They're going to go outside and play a bit. Um, Alice just had to retake a math exam because she failed. failed it the first time around. They have to get at least a 70%, I think. Above 70. Yeah, above 70. So then she had to do the recovery test and then redo the whole exam. And what'd you get on the second time? 100. Yeah. Can you get 80, Jack? And then, Jackson, you said you got 93? 92. 92. That's good. All right, so they're going to go outside and play a bit. We'll be vlogging off and on today. Um, so don't worry, guys. Yeah, I need to shower, like I said. I just have not gotten there yet. You don't need other shoes, you just need... I need more shoes. No, you don't. Alice has like six pairs. It's because I Alice actually cares what's on her feet. Um, he has a pair of sneakers and a pair of sandals. And he's like, I need more. Um, we need to try and clean those later. Yeah, they're muddy from our hike yesterday. Why are you putting on rain boots, Alice? I guess whatever, if you want to clunk around and huge... Rain boots. So we're gonna go outside. I I don't know what I'm gonna do. I feel funky this morning. I have like a weird headache. Will's not feeling well. Um, just like a sore throat, I think, and kind of congested. I don't know if it's allergies or what, but he fell asleep on the couch at like 6 p.m. last night, and then woke up around 9. I kept telling him just go upstairs and go to bed. He got up at 9, went upstairs, and went back to bed. So he's uh, feeling run down. Also. Good afternoon, almost. It's 11 o'clock, so they're gonna play. They'll come in from playing. I'll make them lunch. I'll have them sit down and finish their schoolwork. We'll do some table time schoolwork, um, which is our like group 
stuff that we do together. We're just doing some mini lessons on like St. Patrick's Day in Ireland and leprechauns and rainbows and stuff this week. So just some fun holiday themed items. Um, I printed out a St. Patrick's Day word search and coloring sheet for them to do today. Uh, we didn't do family read aloud yesterday. We're reading the tale of Despero and I just didn't feel like it last night. Um, so we didn't. So we're going to try and finish that book up this week so that we can watch the movie this weekend for family movie night on Sunday. That's kind of where we're at on that. The kids are outside playing with chalk. Um, we are part of a digital scavenger hunt today with our homeschool social group. And so every hour we get a new clue or thing to hunt for or do. And then we post a picture in the group. Um, so the first one this morning was show us your green. So the kids have their green on. And then the nine o'clock hour was to show us a four leaf clover. So they're out here trying to draw. Why don't you color your four leaf clover in so it's easier to see too. Um, so they're out here drawing. It's a little windy, but it feels kind of nice out here. But it's supposed to rain soon. That's good. Just draw a stem on it. Um, and then the newest clue I just got, you want to know what it is? It's to cuddle up with your favorite book. Can I? So that's going to be a... One of my favorite books while reading? Yeah. What is your favorite book? Uh, I don't know. I'll maybe mm. one upstairs. You can find something. It doesn't have to be your favorite favorite. They're not really going to know, but cuddling up with the book, right? So they're working on this. I'm going to come out and get pictures. Is that all done? Uh -huh. Okay. I'll get pictures and we'll text it. Make the rainbow a little bit bigger. Okay. So I just took lunch out to the kids and I saw I had an Amazon package and I had gotten a three pack of this Batiste dry shampoo because I love the brand. I do not like paying like six or seven dollars a can on Walmart from Walmart. And Amazon had the three pack for like, I don't know, $10.99 or something like that, 11. I could be wrong. Um, but the prices I noticed were kind of changing and depending on the scent you wanted and all that, but I found one that was relatively cheap and it made it like, like between three and $4 a can, maybe closer to $4, but good deal nonetheless. So I'm gonna keep one in the downstairs bathroom, one upstairs, and then one as a backup. The countdown to dinner is on. I have a like five pound, three pound, I don't know, a big corned beef brisket in here from Costco and I'm very excited about it and it smells so good already. Um, it's gotta cook for about 90 minutes. So I put it in a little bit early so it'll be ready later. It's 2.15, the kids are driving us nuts. Still, it is that kind of day. Yes. Yes, is that a good thing? No, no. I'm sorry. You're sorry? Yes, I'm Okay, you need to finish school. Was you're not reading the secret. You are not starting a new book. Get a different book, please. I love you. I love you too. Alice and I went to Target, picked up some Halls breezers for Will because he's going through the bag that we currently have, like candy. Um, his throat's got a tickle that won't go away. We've got some snacks from Target. So I spent $17. Um, got this cute little dinosaur, like paint your own flower planter. We have these cute little um, seed sheets that are flowers we got from a Valentine's exchange party thing and so I figured we would plant one of those in there after Alice paints it. And then for some fun spring snacks we got some of the mother's uh, the best animal crackers, the frosted ones, but these are the myth mythical creatures. So there's sea serpents, unicorns, mermaids, and dragons. I wanted to get the bunny, what is it? Bunny something. Bunny, it's a bunny trail mix, but they were all out of it. So I just got the spring monster trail mix, which has milk chocolate candies, peanuts, raisins, chocolate chips, and peanut butter chips. Alice saw the Milano milk chocolate cookies and was like, yes, please. And then some um, Mickey and Minnie goldfish crackers just for something different. And then we'll just cut up the corned beef that came out of the pressure cooker. It smells amazing and I'm very excited to eat. I'm just going to take this plate straight to the table. Just kidding, but um, very excited for dinner. Dinner was pretty fabulous. The corned beef is so good. Um, the kids are in the shower because they played outside until it started raining and then they played in the rain. So now they're wet and chilly and full of chalk and wet chalk and dry chalk and they're in the shower. So they're taking separate showers, but we have, they're, they're in showers. Um, 
Will and I are done eating. We were just discussing the logistics of how we're getting our current furniture to the garage on Sunday night. Tonight's Wednesday because it's St. Patty's Day. Look, I wore green. I eventually did a shower and put this on before going to Target. Um, because we have Salvation Army coming to pick up our couch, chair, and ottoman Monday sometime. So Sunday night, I want to get all of that out to the garage. I think I kind of talked about that at the beginning of this video, how I want to clean steam mop and all that um, after we get the furniture out. But I don't really remember if we brought it in through the front door or through the garage and what's going to be easier and what we're going to have to move because we have now have a lot more stuff in the garage. So of course, that's what keeps me up at night is the logistics of this, which... We won't know until we go to move stuff, but Will refuses to come up with a plan of action beforehand. You take big couch and chair <laughs> and you put them on the outside. That is plan. That is plan. He's talking to me in a Czech accent because we're watching Barry on HBO Max. And I was like, can you start talking in a Czech accent? Because I just, it was funny. Ooh, 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 ooh. Do you know what we're watching tomorrow? No. Ugh, the Snyder Cut. We've got four hours of Batman and the Superman and the Wonder Woman <laughs> and the Equimen and, Aqu and, and the Fleshman. The, the Fleshman, the fast guy. <laughs> the fast guy. Go red. I don't want to watch four hours of that. Just short four hours. A short. I can really sit through a two hour movie without getting antsy and getting up to clean something or like do something. And he wants no, me to sit you through. Sit, you no phone and we watch Snyder Cut. No phone. He's insane. Insane. Not happening. Okay, I'm like yeah, making you watch the original Justice League. Why can't you just watch it by yourself? I don't want to watch it. You're not going to force me. I will get up and leave the room. I mean, you can't make me watch it. Can't I? No, no, you I can, cannot. I can build stocks. Make you. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna put me in stocks and make me watch it. I really have no desire whatsoever. That, that, that's a reference to Barry. I, I don't yeah. often bondage my wife. No. Happy St. <laughs> Patrick's Day. I think we'll close it here because I think I've got enough footage to amuse you guys for a bit. And he's probably going to bed soon because he's still sickish. I don't think it's the COVIDs. Um, I can still taste stuff. He can still taste stuff. And I don't have a fever. No fever. I'm cracking his toes, or I'm trying to. I'm break oh, his toes. Right? Break his toes. Um, yeah. So, thanks for coming along with us for the past two days. There wasn't I much. Start watching that movie at five. Oh my so gosh. Make him stop. Is it the weekend yet? I'm like, I keep waking up thinking it's Friday because I've been staying up so late. I'm like, oh, it's the weekend, and it's definitely not. The music artist? Huh? I'm going to leave now. The weekend? Yeah, I get it. I get it. I get <laughs> it. <laughs> Drop a comment, share some love, and until next time, we will see you later. Bye. Peace.